today I am going to be, first of all, I'm way too close to this camera. Uh, second of all, I'm going to be doing a bronzer ranking. I was inspired by Samantha March's videos where she ranks her products and also Andrea Matiliano. I think that's how you say it. If you don't, I'm sorry, but I will link their profiles down below, but I just thought it was fun to go through your bronzers and kind of rank where you think all of yours are. I don't dislike any of mine. If I dislike them, I probably would just get rid of them, but I have, you know, my my most favorites and the ones that are like, you know, they're all right, but I don't, I don't love them. I don't use them all the time. So we will start with number seven. I don't know why I did five when it's seven, <laughs> but the first one is the Too Faced Natural Lust Bronzer, which I, I really like. I feel like it doesn't have like super, like a lot of pigment, but I do like it. It's pretty good for, you know, pale girls. We don't have, you know, too much, uh, bronzing uh what am i trying to say here like too much room with bronzing you know if it's a little too much pigment it's just like it gets a little crazy but this is what it looks like it's super cute it has like a peacock on it and stuff which is awesome um i found this at tj maxx of course because that's where i find everything and i really like it i haven't used it too much so far i've only used it like once or twice but i i mean i like it it's just it doesn't seem super super pigmented but i do like it so number six, which I think people aren't going to like because a lot of people are like obsessed with this, but I honestly didn't think it was anything that special, is the Fenty bronzer. I have the mini one in the shade Shady Biz and it was all right. I feel like it pulls really red on me. Um, I cannot get this open. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do right now. Here we go. Um, it's fine. I don't know. Like I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's, it's good. I'll use it. Um, but I'm glad that I got a mini version and not a full-size version because I think that a full-size version would have been wasted on me because it's just not something that I love. Um, anyway, so on to five. I'm like forgetting what numbers we're going back from. We're at five. We're at five. Um, <laughs> so number five is the Bare Minerals Fair to Light Bronzer. I know in a lot of places you can't get this anymore, but I believe you can still get it in the U.S. Um, I think they got rid of it in like... I don't know some other places um I know some of the youtubers I watch that are from like you know like London or England or whatever they um those are the same place but um they um I can't get them anymore or they can't find them anymore but they can still get them online here and I think they even still sell them in stores but this is the invisible bronze fair to light bronze I can't open anything and it is this this is a pale girl's dream bronzer it is super super light like so light um but it's a really nice bronzer you definitely have to build it if you want like intense bronze but this is a really really nice um light bronzer for you know those of us that have no pigment to our skin um <laughs> number four is my i guess it's the brand sugar rush um but it's like tarts other brand or whatever so this is the tarte sugar rush and i think they only have it in one shade it's called sun and fun it's like this little box bronzer and i absolutely love this one um the only reason it's not higher is just because i have a couple others that i love even more but this is a great bronzer i love this one it's like a baked marble look here it has like a little bit of shimmer to it but not too much just enough to give you like a little bit of sun kissed like glowy look without being like you put like a bronze highlighter on it's so pretty and i know that a lot of people don't like this kind of packaging like the big bulky packaging but i kind of like big bulky packaging i actually like enjoy this i think it's cute um so we are on to number three which is the physician's formula butter bronzer oh, oh my god i love this so much it smells so good I have a huge divot out of mine. It still looks like, I feel like on camera, it looks like I don't have much out of it, but there's like a huge, like a divot in the middle here. I feel like I have to be pretty close to hitting pan on this. I use it all the time. I have the shade light bronzer. They also have bronzer and I believe dark bronzer. And I think they have, I think they have a couple more shades now. I think they even have like a sculpt one, which is for like contouring. Um, but this is such a good drugstore bronzer. I actually do not like the bulky packaging on this one I feel like you could really just like get rid of this like whole thing down here. We don't need it We don't need it. It comes with it. The reason they have that is because it comes with that little thing I definitely don't have it anymore But it has like that little like spongy thing that it comes in here and I promise you physicians formula Nobody's using that you can just get rid of that. We don't need it um anyway this is number three so number two is the l'oreal true match lumi bronze it i guess this is 
kind of like a new version of their glam bronze or whatever that they had before. I never used that, but I've heard people talk about it and say that this is like the newer version of that. I absolutely love this. This is like the softest bronzer you will ever feel in your life. Like I literally feel like I'm like touching fabric right now. It's ridiculous. Also, no matter how much you use it, this like imprint stays here. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's there forever. Um, but it's such a pretty bronzer. I don't know if you can see. There you go. Yeah, you can see. It's very much like a cool toned bronzer, which I love. I am all about cool toned. If I use anything a little too warm toned, it immediately looks like, like brick dust or something on my face. It's too much. I actually have warm eyeshadow on today and I usually don't even do that. I usually steer clear of warm because of the red hair and the pale skin. So I really love this like nice cool toned bronze. It's super pretty. I brought it on my honeymoon. I use it all the time. It's beautiful. And then my number one bronzer is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I use this all the time. And also how freaking cute is this packaging? Look at this. It's a little heart. Come on, you guys. And then <laughs> they have milk chocolate, just chocolate, I believe. And then um, dark chocolate. So I have milk chocolate, of course. Um, I cannot open anything I own today. There we go. <laughs> um, this is what it looks like inside. It says milk chocolate on it. It used to be like more visible, but I've used it quite a bit. I absolutely love this bronzer. It's so good. Sorry, I'm like blinding you with my light here. But um, this is definitely one of the best bronzers ever. I use this all the time. Like if I'm doing my makeup quick and I don't have like a ton of time, I always grab this one because it's the easiest to use. You just like grab it, throw it on, it blends out super easy and it always looks pretty like I never have to work with it it's not something that you have to like blend a lot and try to like blend into your skin like I have some bronzers like kind of like the Fenty one where I feel like I have to like work at it to make it like not look so aggressive on my skin but this one's just super easy I can just dip a big brush in and like swipe it on and it just works I don't have to like get crazy with it and that's what I'm looking for in a bronzer because um sometimes it's hard um, with how pale I am to get a bronzer that works that well. I have to like really really work on it But I don't have to with this one and it's just it's the best Anyway, that is my ranking video if you enjoyed that Let me know if you want to see a blush and highlighter ranking video I would love to do one of those. Thank you so much for watching if you're interested Please hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching